he with Kwame Agua of uh, Forge FC. Is that left back or central mid your preferred position? Um, honestly, I play wherever the coach wants me to play, wherever is needed. Um, for tactical purposes, I'm comfortable playing both positions, and I enjoy playing both positions. Uh, in New York, I played in the center mid a lot, and sometimes I train at uh, left back. And, I mean, Patrick Vieira tells you you're a center midfielder, then you're a center midfielder. I mean, he knows best, right? He was one of the best center midfielders of all time, so it's good to learn from him, especially in that position. On paper, this has been a breaking year for you. Uh, I'm sure you don't close the doors down to, to move to a higher level of the game? I mean, uh, I take it game by game. Um, hopefully, that's my aim, to continue pursuing a higher level of football. Everyone dreams to play at the highest level. Their skills that can take them with their professionalism, whatever it can take them. And I'm just here with Forge right now, and I appreciate the opportunity that I've been given. Uh, the past two years has been rough, game-wise. I gotten a lot better technically, tactically, from playing with New York City, playing with better players in general, being coached by likes of uh, Patrick Vieira and playing with, with players like Andrea Pirlo and David Villa. And um, I'm taking what I've learned from them and, and brought it here, and hopefully um, other coaches or around MLS or wherever uh, take notice of it. But even if not, like I'm just doing it day by day, and I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying being here. Right, there's only so much you can learn from uh, watching. You have to play. Exactly, that's the most important thing. I think I'm at an age where I need to maximize the amount of games I can play and, and uh, really show what I can do on the field and get back to my uh, my ways. Sharing a locker room with David Villa and Andrew Pirlo has to be special. You know, World Cup winner, Euro winner. What did they say to you and uh, teach you to be a professional each and every day? I mean, there's just little things that you learn from them. Not even having them say anything to, to me. It's just like how they carry themselves, how they train, they pay attention to details on the field and they ask questions even even that the, those guys have won almost everything like Patrick Vieira was a World Cup winner and Euro winner as well too so like the, there's just so much to ask, ask them and they enjoyed when a younger guy was able to uh, go to them and ask them questions who was enthusiastic about the game enthusiastic about life and that's how I look at myself so I think that's an important thing just being able to want to actually get better and not always thinking that you know what's right and what's wrong you know what I mean just taking it as it comes in and hopefully uh, you get the opportunity to play. Did you get the rookie treatment uh, there? Um, not really. Patrick actually cheated, cheated uh, all the guys equally. Obviously as a rookie yourself you go out of your own way to help the veteran guys or do whatever like carry bags or whatever because that's just the nature of like just being a nice person like you're not you're not an all-star you haven't made it yet so it's like you know what, I'm going to do whatever it takes to gain the respect of my older teammates and the guys that have been in this position and that's exactly what I did. You know Richie Larea from playing in Sigma, a close friend of yours. I'm sure you guys stay in touch. What does he have to do to lock up the number one spot at the national team and with TFC to continue that trend? Yeah, me and Richie have known each other. We played club soccer together. I've known him since I was seven years old. We live across the street from each other actually in Toronto, so we go way, way back. Um, he's doing a great job at TFC and I'm happy that he, he's found a place and cons is consistently playing. He was in the same situation as me when he was at Orlando. Just not being able to get uh, game times, but right now he's flourishing with TFC and with Canada, and it's good to see him to, uh, getting called up to the national team for the U.S. camp. And for him to continue, he just needs to continue what he's doing. I mean, I think the coaches really like him, and I think uh, as long as he continues what he's doing, he's, he'll lock up the position for a right back for Canada. Growing up in Toronto, a city of many cultures, your family is from Ghana, but you actually learned how to play soccer with the Uruguayan community. Tell me about the memories you made. Honestly, me and Richie were probably the only two African-Americans on the team. So it was actually really cool learning to play soccer from them. Big shout out to Robert Correa. He taught us basically all the technical little things that we needed to know as a player, like even spacing on the field, um, touches, left foot, right foot, which would to take the ball with, like skill moves. We, like we learned everything that we had to do was with the ball. And there's a lot of guys that from that team have gone, have came with us as Sigma. And then from Sigma, we've all gone to our separate ways, obviously to college and stuff like that. But I owe a big, big chunk of my career to those guys because they really taught me the little things that were really important and have gotten me to where I am now. Kwame, thanks so much. No problem. Thank you.